Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be replacing the speedometer cable after some heavy squeaking sounds. Alright, here's the squeaking sound. So we suspect the speedometer cable is the cause of that noise and we'll be looking at that today. Okay, we're underneath the car here now looking at the back of the transmission and I'm pointing right here. Uh, that's where the speedometer cable core attaches to the side of the transmission. So we're going to take that off here to pull this all back out. Also for better access, we jacked up the car here uh, on the front left jack point and I put some wood blocks underneath uh, the lower arm and underneath the tire just for safety because you don't want to be crawling around underneath the car just when it's on the jack. Just spin this out. Now we're going to have to follow this around and unclip it from here. I'm just going to pry this tab back a little bit to allow me to work out the cable. Free that like so. Okay, from that tab, I'll continue up towards the front of the car. And if I can show you right up here, there's another tab I'm going to pry out as we curve up towards the engine. Okay, block. that is now free. So we'll work the cable out from there and continue our way up. I'm just going to pan down and in here, and you're going to see right there is an attachment point. And that is where the black part of the Speedo cable comes up. It comes up through here, follow it behind the master cylinder, and up and over there, and that is where it goes into the back side of the instrument cluster. Just reaching in behind here, and I'm just going to work that cable up. right out like that. Now we'll switch to inside the car and we'll take out the instrument cluster. So I've got another video on how to remove the instrument cluster. I'll put a link to that in the description so I won't go through all of that again. Basically we're going to take off the steering wheel, drop the column, take these panels off to drop the column, take off the bolts and screws here to remove the acrylic or plastic cover, and then access the instrument cluster. Okay, here we are, midway here. Steering column is dropped, wheel is off. We got the instrument cluster out, and I'm about to reach behind now and disconnect the speedometer cable and unscrew that small wiring harness. All right, there we are now with the speedometer cable showing. The instrument cluster is out. So this is the top of the speedo head cable and we're going to work that back through the firewall. Okay, here's an awkward view, but I'm underneath the steering column. You can see to the right of my screen here, uh, and I'm going to point the screwdriver to right there. Uh, that's where the speedometer cable comes down and tucks behind the firewalls. Right back there, that's the speedometer head as it was up at the instrument cluster, and I fished it now all the way through to uh, basically the point where it's going to go through the firewall. Okay, we got it out here. Uh, I had to pull on it quite a bit, and you can see right down there, um, there's the insulation, and that's the opening uh, for the speedometer cable to go through. Here is the cable at the end that was at the instrument cluster, and this is that rubber uh, seal or grommet that is um, basically covering that hole. Also note for myself that the cable goes behind this wiring conduit and then in front of the second conduit and then underneath this conduit back here. All right, so to test out if the squeaking noise is in fact from the speedometer cable, I hooked up a drill to the end of the speedo cable that was down at the transmission, and we're gonna spin the drill 
and I'm going to listen uh, for the sound up here if I can hear any squeaking over the sound of the drill. Yeah, I think that's the culprit right there. Here's a zoomed out view of the old speedometer cable. It's about 72 inches long, maybe a little bit longer because of the bends. But curiously, you'll see there's an attachment point here. It's actually two cables that are joined. And I guess um, this one part was an upper cable and the other part was a lower cable. I'm guessing that they connected them up underneath the uh, hood somewhere when they were building the car. Uh, suffice it to say, the new cable is just one cable. Here's the new cable. I'll unpack this now. I'll put the link to the part number in the description below. All right, here's the new cable stretched out behind the old one. You can see it's a bit longer. I think the specs for the new cable were 77 inches, um, but you can see the ends are basically the same. All right, here's the transmission end of the cable. This is the old cable on the left, the new one on the right. You can see this is exactly the same. And here's the end that plugs into the back of the speedometer gauge itself. Again, you can see these are almost exactly the same. Uh, inside, you can see the new cable is freshly greased, so I don't have to do that, which is good. All right, let's get this connected up. Now, here you'll see on the back of the old grommet, we've got some old, I guess this is either adhesive sealant or RTV or something, silicone. So I'm going to remove this, this old gunk, and then we'll get the cable through. And of course, when we're ready to seal this up, I'm going to put some new silicone or RTV on here. I just want to show you here where the grommet uh, itself is going to go and how it's going to be oriented. So as you can see here, I uh, cleaned it off as best I could. Um, grommet is going to go in this way. There's a little uh, lip here around that is going to go right in there and catch on the back of that ring and hold it in place. All right, so to force this through, I uh, actually kind of inverted the grommet, pushed it through the other way, uh, so that way it makes it easier for me to work this in and around. And then I'm just going to twist this and push it through and work it through like so. So you can see there, it just slips right over. And now it's onto the cable. All right, now we'll work the cable through into the firewall. Okay, before we seal that grommet, let's make sure we have enough play on the inside of the car. I'll try to show you where this comes in now. This is a really tough angle to get the lighting right. We're underneath the steering column here. I'm on a demagnified view. And if you look in uh, to the left of the screen, kind of right there, you see the front head of the speedometer cable. That's where it comes through the firewall. I'm going to come underneath now and try to show you there. Uh, it comes in quite low relative to where the instrument panel is. So here we are underneath. And if you can see right there, that's where the speedometer cable comes in. Uh, real low. It's just kind of above and behind the fuse panel and we're going to have to work this in through and then get it up uh, to be behind the instrument cluster. And then if you look closely in here you'll see there's a framed uh, gap in the metal um, behind where the steering column mounts and in that ring right there uh, is that's where you want to put the cable through so that when it comes out in the middle here to attach to the instrument cluster, um, it's not going to have too sharp of a bend in it. You know, there'll be a little bend here for it to come in straight like that, but it won't be too sharp. So now that we have this in with enough play uh, inside, we're going to go uh, work on attaching the other end. i to reverse the process here. So we're going to go back behind power steering down here okay and then behind the bar and underneath 
down here. Okay, so here we are looking up from the bottom. That's the, uh, that's the underside of the steering column right there. And we fish the cable down. Uh, you can see it uh, right over here. Seat the cable right in there. Push that tab closed with my finger like that to trap it in place so that won't come out and we'll continue on down. Okay, here's the second tab. So we'll push the cable into that, seat it, and then push that up with my finger to hold that in place right there. Okay. All right, now you can see where the attachment is at the transmission. So I'm just gonna clean off that area with the paper towel. Some extra transmission fluid leaked out. Just want to make sure those threads are clean before I screw this on. With that area now sufficiently clean, we're going to reattach the cable. Now there's a square notch that this has to sit in. So I'm going to take a pair of needle nose pliers, pull out the internal part of the cable, and then push it in. Uh, fully to seat in the gear. All right, there you can see now I pulled it out a lot further so that when we insert it, we'll make sure that it goes into the Speedo gear. So we want to make sure that we line that up and then tighten this by hand. I don't want to over tighten it, but just in case my hands are a little bit slick with the grease, tighten it down just a little bit more. make sure that it's snug but not over tightened. To reattach this grommet we're going to push that lip in and around this ring until the grommet is seated on there firmly because uh, we want to make sure there's no gap here. This is really hard to get a good camera angle for you here but um, what I'm doing is I'm seating the ring in the bottom half around the back and then I'm just getting it to this point right here where I only have a little bit left. And I'm just going to push in with a screwdriver to compress this inner part of the grommet while I push on the back until it seats. So I'll cut you back on here in a sec. All right, there we are. Got the grommet sealed back in here. I also um, pulled this sheath out back around the cable to go out the right way as opposed to being pushed in. Now this is seated. We can put some uh, RTV high temperature uh, goop around the outside. So I'm just going to use some uh, silicone RTV sealant adhesive uh, to coat the area where that grommet goes into the firewall. Okay, there we are with the sealant around the gasket. I'm going to let that dry and cure. Okay, getting this back in, we're going to do two things. We're going to reconnect the speedometer cable itself, and we're going to reattach this uh, electrical clip and the five and a half millimeter socket. So getting this in place, the easiest way is to slip it in behind and connect your speedo cable first. So to get this back in again, you're going to have to push on that clip on the back. Now it's gonna be a bit tricky with the new cable, but you have to line it up, get the center piece inside um, the sheath of the speedometer itself, and then push this in until that clip clicks over the outer sheath of the cable itself. Okay, once that's in, then you can reach around and reconnect the electrical connector here. Okay, so you have to reach around carefully. I suggest looking down from the top to get that socket attached uh, so you can attach your clip, your wire clip here. So the speedometer is now clipped in. Just making sure. Now we can push it back in place and reconnect it to the harness there behind the dash.
It may be a little stiff to push in because you have extra play on your speedometer cable, which I do. And if that's the case, reach underneath and push some of the cable back into the engine bay. So I'm gonna do that now to make sure that this can go in easier. Okay, also before you just push this in, make sure that your shifter cable is behind the front of the dashboard and drops down by the steering column so that you can reattach it once you connect everything up. So once you have this lined up, make sure that you're going in straight and that it clips onto the harness. And it should sit there like so. Now we can reattach the front fascia. Um, first put in the two nuts, one here and one here, uh, the 10 millimeter socket. That's gonna hold the base of the instrument cluster in place. So there's not a lot of room to work here. All right, now we'll reattach the trim piece that goes in front of the gauges. Uh, this is just going to slip right up and underneath from the top, like that. And then on the bottom, there's two lips underneath that we just slide back and in place. So to get that attached, we have those two small Phillips head screws that go up through the bottom of this cover plate. One of those Phillips head screws goes right here, and goes right over here. All right, now we'll reinstall the plastic lens cover. I have one broken clip on mine, but uh, when you sit this back up on top, like so, you're gonna have seven screws and three plastic clips. Okay, so one plastic clip is gonna go up in the center and the top, two on the bottom, and then the screws around. The other screws through up here. Here. Okay, now we have the three clips of one clip up top. Push that in. One clip over here. Push that in. And the third clip over here. And push that in. Your instrument cluster's back in place. Now we can lift up uh, and reattach the steering column. For reattaching the steering column, remember before we lift this up, we have our shifter lever here and I have the little area that I've carved out for attaching that. So just make sure that is dangling and uh, behind your dashboard ready to go. So we'll reattach the steering column first and then we'll clip that in place. All right, to reattach the steering column, again, we've got these 15 millimeter nuts and we have to lift up the column like that and just get this started now we'll reconnect the shift lever like that now we can tighten up the nuts for the steering column okay once these are tightened in now we can put on the back bottom cover plate I want to make sure that I get the heater hose slid over the panel and then clip it up in place over the top like that. Underneath. Last one down here. Okay, we'll put the steering wheel back on now. So that goes through the upper left hole. And then you can get your steering wheel lined up okay so just be careful make sure that that light green 
plastic piece comes through the hole. It seemed like mine was stuck a little bit. Push that to the side. We'll put the nut back on the top. Now, I do have a torque wrench this time, so we're gonna set it to 31 foot-pounds or 42 Newton meters, and we'll tighten down the nut to the spec. Okay, so that's to, to spec now. Reattach this E-ring clip. Let's use pliers to, reverse pliers to space it, separate it, and sit it back on top of that rip it right into place. Just like that. So it's in a channel right there on the bolt. Okay, connecting the horn, you're gonna look for the tab here in the center and you're gonna just attach the clip right to that. that in place, you can just seat the cover right on the steering wheel. And then we have the two hex screws, seven millimeter. Those are gonna go in from the back. Here's the left one. Just get that screw in there. You can start it by hand. Okay. That's it, everything back together. Got everything back together, we started the car up. We're gonna take it for a spin now and test to see uh, how well the Speedo works. Let's go. Going up the hill here on the street. So far, no squeaking, and the Speedo's very steady, which is a good sign. So, still driving here, looks pretty steady, no squeaking, no noise. Okay, holding steady on the highway as well. All right, here we are, back in the garage after the test drive. Call that a success, finally. Thanks very much for watching.